how to read music. So let's start off with the staff. The staffs have one, two, three, four spaces and one, two, three, four, five lines. Each spot or space or line on the staff corresponds to one note of the musical alphabet. So what is the musical alphabet? Musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And these keep repeating. We don't need the rest of the normal alphabet that we have. On a piano, if you were to mark the musical alphabet, it would be something like this, right? Because the notes keep repeating. Since they keep repeating, we have eight C's. The fourth one is known as middle C. And one important note is the G above middle C. <clears throat> now, when reading music, okay, we have something called a clef. So, I'm going to show you one clef today. And this is called treble clef. In treble clef, this second line that we have, this is actually the G above C. Remember? G above C was this note. This note is G above C. And that is actually right here on the treble clef. So if this is our G, let's try to find out where middle C is. So going down from G, we have F. E, D, aha, C, and not just any C, we have middle C. So in the staff, you can keep going like so. So this would be A, B, C, D. E, F, G, and so on. You can keep going. So as long as you know that you're in treble clef, you would be able to read notes in the staff. So in conclusion, what do you need to know to read music? One. Well, obviously, you need to know how the staff works. Second, you need to know which clef you're in. And in our case, we were in treble clef. Next. You need to know the musical alphabet. And finally, you need to know middle C and G above. And that's all you need to know to read music in treble clef. So quickly we can do one example. Let's try to figure out what this first note is. If I know that our G above C is here, then one below would be F. If our G is here, one above would be A. So if that's our A, then this is B, this is C, this is D. This is our C. Okay, this is our G. 
one below is F, one below is E, one below is D. Now, this is our G, A, this is our B. Okay, if that's our B, this is C, D, E. That's E, this is F, and this is G. So this is just one example of how to read music in triple clef.